Let me teach you how to download and install the Vein Miner mod for Minecraft 1.21 in the easiest way I know. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to getting the Vein Miner is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install the Or Excavation mod, which is pretty much the same thing as the Vein Miner. The thing with the Vein Miner is that it hasn't been updated since Minecraft 1.12.2, so we're gonna go ahead and install the Or Excavation mod, which is literally the same thing, okay? Click on that second link. This is our written guide on how to download and install this mod. But if you just wanna follow along, just to scroll down to step one and then go ahead and choose the platform you're going to download the mod from. In this tutorial, we're going to download for Mod Rinth, but feel free to choose Curse Wash or Mod Rinth, whatever you prefer more. I'm gonna go ahead and download for Mod Rinth again. Once over here, just head over to versions and then just choose 1.21. It might help if you filter out by versions for 1.21. And then as you can see, you will get only the 1.21 versions in here. This is the Neo Forge. As you can see, as of right now, it only supports Neo Forge, which is totally fine because I'm gonna show you how to get Neo Forge in a second if you don't already have it. Anyways, once you see the 1.21 version in here, go ahead and click on this download arrow and that will begin the download immediately for the or excavation mod. And while the mod is downloading, don't forget you still got 25% off if you use the first link in the description to create your own server with Apex hosting because using the Vein Miner online is not allowed. So you will need your own server if you want to use this on multiplayer. That's why I always recommend you use Apex hosting so you don't get banned or anything because you own the server. Something I personally love about Apex hosting besides them having locations all around the world is that you could literally create the server and access the server console through your phone, which means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to change the settings and stuff. Again, take advantage of the deal while it lasts 25% off the first link in the description and let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once the mod downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. You'll find it here in your recent download history or within the downloads folder in your PC. Now, if you already have NeoForge installed, all you have to do now is launch your NeoForge mods folder and add this mod into the mods folder. And that's it. You are done. You're could close out from this video and stuff. But I'm assuming most of you don't have NeoForge, which is the mod loader that will allow you to use this mod. So what we're going to do, as you might imagine for the next step, is download and install NeoForge. Click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install NeoForge. If you wanna follow along the video and don't have to read through the whole thing, just scroll down to step one and click download. That redirects you over here, where you could either go through the versions in here, just go to the version list, or just download the 1.21, which is the most recent one right now. But if you're watching this in the future, you might have to go to other version and look for the 1.21 specifically in there. As of right now, you could just download the latest version 1.21 from this button right here. So go ahead and click on latest NeoForge installer, which as of right now, like I said, is 1.21. And once it downloads, just like we did with the Oryx Salvation mod or the Vein Miner, however you want to call it, you're going to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. There we go. The mod already downloaded or the mod installer, I should say. And now we're ready for the next step. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have closed your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher, but not before you have played Minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer. It is extremely important that you have played this Minecraft at least once to create an instance of it. Now, once you close out from the game on the launcher, just right click on NeoForge, click open with, and then click Java. And that is going to open the installer for NeoForge. If you struggle to open the installer or you don't see Java when you right click on it, or you don't see those icons, don't worry because in a second, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. But for those of you that did get to open the installer, just select install client and hit proceed and the installation will begin. And again, if you were struggling to open the installer, that is because you need Java 21. This is required, okay? Minecraft 1.21, requires Java 21 in order for you to install mods and stuff like that. The thing is that after Minecraft got updated to 1.20.5, you will now need Java 21 for any mod you install. So yeah, I'm going to leave this guide in the description. It's probably going to be the fourth link, how to download and install Java 21. Super simple. You just download it and hit next a couple of times in the installer and you will update Java to the newest Java version in order for you to open these type of files, which are jar files. Anyways, once the installation completes, it's just going to say it in here, successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK. And now you could even delete the NeoForge installer. And all we have left now is the or excavation mod, which we're going to add into our mods folder. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And if you install NeoForge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. It doesn't matter if you don't, because you're still going to head over to installations, even if you don't see it in there. And now in here, make sure you have modded selected because without modded, as you can see, you won't see NeoForge in here. And now we're going to use that to add the mod into the mods folder, but not before I show you how to get NeoForge in here in case you don't see it, even after clicking modded. So let's say that you don't see NeoForge in here. Just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, I'm going to name my Apex hosting. And then for the version, just look for NeoForge. You should see here in one of your most recent ones, as you can see for me, it's the fifth option right here, NeoForge 21. So just find NeoForge in there and then click create down here and that'll make an instance of NeoForge. Anyways, once you either created the installation or found it in here already, just hover over it and then click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it. But we're now specifically looking for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S, which mine is right here. However, if you don't have a mods folder, 
don't worry because you could always create it yourself by just adding a new folder and naming it mods, M-O-D-S. Once you either created the mods folder or found it, just go ahead and open it. Now your folder most likely will be empty. As a matter of fact, that I'm gonna actually gonna go ahead and clean mine out. I'm gonna delete all the files in there. This is probably what your folder looks like. All you have to do now is drag and drop the or excavation NeoForge mod into this folder. Make sure that any other mod that you have in here does match your NeoForge instance as well as your game version, which is 1.21. They do have to be the same type of mod loader as well as version of the game. So it has to be NeoForge 1.21. And then close out from this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher and then go ahead and launch NeoForge. You might get this little prompt in here. Just click that you understand the risk and then hit play. Now, once the game open, we're just going to go ahead and launch a single player world to go ahead and test out our mod that we just recently installed, which is the Bay Miner. Again, if you want to use this mod online, make sure that you do on the server. So you do have permission from the server owner, which will be yourself. And again, you could create that server using the first link in the description. Now, as you can see, I'm here in survival mode. And if you do want to use this mod, all you have to do is head over to wherever you want to mine from and then just hold the letter R in your keyboard, the keybind R in your keyboard. While you hold that, just go ahead and mine whatever you want to mine. And as you can see, the whole R will come down. If you don't do it while holding the letter R, it won't work. So as you can see, if I hold the letter R now and I do it, it will cut down the whole vein or it mine down the whole vein. This will also work in wood. So if you go ahead and mine a tree, if I hold the letter R on a tree and then I just go ahead and cut the wood, it will cut the whole tree down. And if you press escape and head over to options, then you go to controls and then you go to keybinds, you scroll all the way down you will see the key binds that you need for the ore excavation in here. You could actually edit the shape of your whatever you're mining. So you could actually edit that shape. If you press the letter B in here, you'll be able to edit how much you want to mine. So you could create a square. You could do a 10 by 10 or whatever amount of ores you want to cut down. Let's say that you're doing a tunnel while mining underground. You could actually change the depth and stuff of that tunnel. And you could actually toggle in between those by pressing the letter V. So you could just change between how much amount you are actually mining. That is pretty much how to download and install the ore excavation or vein miner mod. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. We're trying to get to 100K by the end of the year, which sounds impossible, but I know we'll get there. And as always, bye bye.